Welcome back to the channel. Freckle season. Cooling off inside. Why does it look like I'm missing freckles right there? I just went on a bike ride. Update. My bike tires were deflated, which is why it was so hard to ride my bike last time. Let's say pregnancy brain, like didn't check them. I'd never felt more like out of breath and out of shape in my life. And like, obviously I know I'm pregnant, but still I was like, mm pumped those babies up, had a good ride. I've been spending a lot of time at the pool and lake and just like outside because like, I just like need to be in nature and I just forget how much it is good for my mental health till I'm like back outside. But I got a rash, so you can't really see it. You can't really see it very well on the camera, kind of. It's only on my belly. It feels really rough now. And it started like itching a lot last night. Didn't change a single product, didn't change a single thing. The only thing that happened was I exposed it to the sun, my belly. I've Googled a bajillion things. I texted my friend that's a nurse. And if it's not gone in like a day, then I'll call the doctor, but I think it's fine. Wow. Just woke up, back on the Nespresso train. Hair is literally a rat's nest. So I'm gonna grace you guys with a full shower today. Okay, did anyone else see the TikTok that was like washing your hair once a week or whatever is like actually not as good and you're supposed to actually wash your hair more? What are we supposed to be doing? Showering has become like a chore. It's been getting harder to breathe and like stand for long periods of time because I just feel like off, like I almost fainted over the weekend. And so I feel like it's like, I just have to take everything a lot slower than normal, which sucks because like chop chop. So I just double washed my hair in the shower. I did the way detox shampoo, then I did the way thick hair shampoo because another thing that I saw was like, if you're not washing your hair that often, at least make sure you're double shampooing. So I did that. I don't know who to believe or what to believe at this point, but anyway. Oh man, some days are like worse than other days with like the whole like out of breath. It's almost like I can feel like the blood, like, you know when you feel like the blood rush one way, it's like I can feel like the blood like leaving my body. I'm just gonna go in with leave-in conditioner. You guys know the drill. I like to let it air dry for at least 30 minutes to an hour so that I'm not just like raw dogging it with the Dyson. And this is great because it is a heat protectant as well. So it's gonna really like tame your hair and give you a silky smooth blowout for the summer. But it's also protecting your hair from the heat which I love because or else I would probably never protect my hair from the heat. And then I think the thick hair shampoo, by the way, also adds like a nice layer of smoothing to my hair for a good blow dry. And obviously I use like my scalp serum and all my other stuff, but look how healthy my hair looks. Bink. I really wanna get the Way Curl Cream because I wanna, we have a boat for the summer and I wanna figure out how to like have like cute beachy hair from like wet to air dry or maybe I'll just use it to kind of like slick back into a bun since my hair is pretty unruly. So with a new season coming up too, just make sure you have all the things you need for summer styles, summer hair health. So go to theway.com slash Lauren Elizabeth and you can get 15% off your entire order. Also the beach bag that I'm obsessed with is by them and it's only available on their website so make sure you go to the way.com slash Lauren Elizabeth so that you can get 15% off that and like all the hair stuff you need for the summer because it's absolutely fabulous another weird pregnancy symptom that I've been having because I feel like second trimester you like don't really have a lot it's kind of a nice time to be alive started getting back pain for sure but the pregnancy pillow really really helps with that and then I told you guys that I got this rash on my belly it looks a lot better today can't really see it as much. So I think it was just from going outside in the sun, even though it's never happened to me before. It's only happened from my belly. I put some cream on it and it seems to be a lot better. People say that if you scratch your belly button or not your belly button, if you scratch your belly, that is how you get stretch marks. I mean, I think that it's obviously a lot of it is genetic and you can't really help it. Like you're either probably gonna get a a lot of stretch marks or not but i've heard multiple times that if you itch it's like not helpful it's gonna only help you get stretch marks and so i was trying not to itch my belly but the weird thing is is i have stretch marks all on my boobs and i think it's because like my boobs just haven't been big in so long 
Whereas like my weight has always maybe fluctuated. I'm not like as genetically prone to stretch marks on my stomach. I've always been a bloated girly. So maybe my stomach is just like more ready to stretch. Whereas my boobs aren't. So I have like three stretch marks here and like I'm starting to get one right here. It's just weird. They just come out of like nowhere. Like one day you can kind of see it and then it just gets darker and darker. So I've been putting the stretch mark cream like on my under boob basically. And obviously I still put belly oil on and stuff to just kind of like take care of my skin, preventative, whatever. Who knows how much you can really prevent slash treat the, these, these kinds of things. Cause your body's just gonna do what it wants to do. My skin's been looking good too. The only thing that I'll get flare ups with is sometimes just some hormonal acne and then I'll get dermatitis, which is kind of like a stress rash. BRB. Boop. Can you see the rash now? Kind of. A little bit. It's like... Isn't that weird? I didn't think this through because hi, I'm gonna be podcasting for the next like two hours and I don't have any readily available snacks and I'm getting exhausted. It feels kind of like the first trimester exhaustion is like coming back a little bit where it's like, you can't really help it. You just feel this like insane wave of tiredness. I need to start getting ahead of things for maternity leave because if I want a maternity leave, I have to work twice as hard right now, which is fine. It's just, I need to get a move on because I'm starting to feel like shit again, you know? are on our way to go to the doctor. I used to go to the doctor like when I first started making my appointments, like on like Thursdays, like Wednesdays, Thursdays. And I had so much anxiety because like, I just knew that like that week was the doctor. And then I was like, okay, come on, come on. Like, let, let it be Thursday, let it be Thursday. So I finally like changed the days when I was scheduling appointments and made it to be a Monday so that I don't have to spend all week anticipating it. And we have our glucose test today, which is where all I know you do is drink a really yucky drink and then get your blood drawn to see if you have gestational diabetes basically. And if you like fail this test, then you have to do like another one. Um, and I'm definitely like a little nervous about failing it just because of all the weird symptoms I've had lately. The other part of me, the like weird brain part of me is like, well, if I'm nervous and think I'm gonna fail, that means I'm not gonna fail. That's the logic my brain uses. So we will see. Just stopped at the grocery store. I literally got the exact feeling that I was describing where it's like my heart starts racing. Like I don't think I'm gonna like make it basically. And what the doctor said, the volume of like hydration I'm getting is probably just not enough. And like the symptoms like lined up with that. It makes sense because you know, like when you go to sleep and you wake up, like you haven't been drinking water all night. And then it's not like I'm really chugging water first thing in the morning. So I really wanted to get a Gatorade because that's like one of the things she recommended, like electrolytes and stuff. Because I thought that maybe that would just give me like such a good boost for right now. But the fancy girl grocery store doesn't have Gatorade. So I'm literally just like trying to like catch my breath, not get dizzy or feel like I'm gonna like faint before I drive really quickly home. Unpopular opinion, I guess. That drink, the glucose test, not gross at all. I'm a yummy. <laughs> but maybe that's like a sign of like, hey, you have diabetes if you enjoyed that. And then I got cherries, watermelon, and an iced tea for later because I'm loving mint lemon iced tea. I even got fresh mint from my grandma's to make some of my own this week. I just need to come back to life really quick because you can't eat or drink for like the hour that you're waiting. So that's why I think it happened. Um, so I'm gonna go home, drink some water and eat. Take it easy for a second till I get a second wave. I'm starting to batch record podcasts for maternity leave. I actually forgot how much I love podcasting with other people. I think maybe also my anxiety has just been so much better that like the social anxiety piece has kind of left the building for a moment. So I'm having my friend Kelsey Kelsey Kreppel come on the podcast today, but it won't be out until September. I just, I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I know I kind of am always like anticipating. I feel like maybe it's like my toxic trait. And I know I've told my boyfriend last week, I was like, I need to focus on being present for sure. Cause I get so anticipate, like anticipatory. I'm just also like so excited. 
because it's like we're finally moving in a few weeks and then in a couple months the baby comes so I'll try to stay present but i'm definitely excited literally now this is attached to my hip after you guys saw that i basically packed, like almost passed out in the car so before that before the glucose test we had a little bit of a family emergency on my boyfriend's side so we were in the suburbs all weekend and that's why i got to hang out with my grandma we just got back yesterday and then after that glucose test you could tell i wasn't like watching the footage back i was like wow i don't seem well at all and then i ended up getting like exhausted even after eating and drinking water and I like passed out. I don't know if it was a combination of just like not really getting a lot of rest all weekend and then doing the glucose tests and stuff, but I had to like cancel the, my podcast recording. Well, not cancel, like I'm gonna reschedule it obviously, but I was like not well, I was out. It is what it is. I try not to be too hard on myself with that kind of stuff because it's like, I don't wanna like overdo it because I wanna make sure the baby's okay. The apartment, you guys, is literally to school stay. I mean, the amount of crap we have, no, not crap, but I mean, the amount of stuff we have is insane. There's stuff I'm so excited about though. Like my diaper bags came in. Oh my God, I'll give you a little sneak peek. So excited. These are the two I wanted so bad. The Cara Sport and the uh, Dang, Dang, how do you pronounce it? Dang Dover, I don't know. But I'm so excited about these. So probably in the new place, we'll do like a putting together diaper bag slash hospital bag stuff, just because I love that shit. It gets, gives me like OG YouTube vibes too. I also got a bunch more books over the weekend. So I just started Happy Place by Emily Henry. And I feel like you either love it or hate it. And every time I go on Instagram, someone else has a different opinion and it's stressing me out and then got this in the mail and i'm so excited because i still have to read hotel nantucket which i forgot that i actually didn't read it yet so i'm gonna read that and this so many books i'm so excited it's just so annoying because like everything in the apartment is messy and like all i want to do is read so that's why i'm like trying to spend as much time like outside as possible too because like it's a disaster in here now we move in three weeks i knew that right when june hit it was gonna start flying by and you guys it is lion so i have a meeting in like 30 minutes so much maternity leave podcast blah 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 stuff to do so everything you need to know is linked obviously down below and i will talk to you guys in the next vlog if i miss a week it's because i'm not well so apologies but i'm doing my best and we're gonna keep it going throughout the whole pregnancy Woo! love you